good morning, guys. Now, if y'all remember last week, I showed you Tony's machine that he paid about $4,700 for this arcade. Beautiful looking Star Wars themed arcade, but his machine was an $80 machine. I literally found this machine on eBay for 80 bucks with free shipping. So as you can imagine, it's not gonna play too much, if anything. The machine was a first gen i3 using the onboard G series Intel uh, video card. It was just a very old, outdated, and just a really bad machine for such a high-end cabinet. So, behind me running is his new machine. We kept the budget under $300 for all the upgrades, and he's now running a seventh generation setup. So, let's take a look. And wait one second, let's, let's go back. So, in case you missed it, uh, Tony ordered an arcade from someone who was reselling Rec Room Masters arcades and they were greatly increasing the cost by just getting the arcade and basically drop shipping it to him. Of course, Rec Room Masters was doing the, the graphics and all they did is just order, send it to him and sent him a machine that they probably bought off eBay for 80 bucks and couldn't play anything. He couldn't get support for anything. So he sent it to me and this is what we've got. It's running behind me. So let's take a look at Tony's new rig that we kept under 300 bucks. Okay guys, here's Tony's new machine. Now to keep the budget down, because like I mentioned earlier, Tony has a little over $4,500 just in the cabinet. So we had to reuse quite a few parts. We used the 275 watt power supply, which isn't the greatest, but it works. We reused his two terabyte 7200 RPM Hitachi hard drive is his OS drive. Now it's a little bit slower to boot, but we're good there. What we ended up doing was using a brand new MSI H 110M motherboard which supports new 7th gen CPU. We got an Intel i3 7th gen CPU and I was able to get that for about $89.99 OEM without the fan. That's because I had fans laying around and I figured I'd help him out and you know use some of my parts that I probably won't use and help him keep his budget down. We went with the new $20, I think it was $25, Roswell case. Pretty case, does the job. What I was surprised about is it does come with a 20 millimeter fan as well as a 10 millimeter fan. And the thing about cheap cases, you know, they, they work and they do the job. However, they're not built for cable management. So you gotta get really creative. As you can see, I pretty much got everything stuffed in here. And there's also a zip tie keeping them in there and these aren't going anywhere either so we got good airflow we replaced actually his old he had an intel i3 first generation uh, cpu with the g series intel video which obviously will not play anything and we stuck a nvidia gtx 1050 in there ddr4 8 gigs of ram and all together we've got fifty dollars i think we got the month the video card for about 109 dollars he did, did not have wi-fi so we bought him a uh, this is a 13 dollar um, 600 megabit wi-fi now one thing i did do for him is it come with this little bitty antenna and we replaced it since i had a bunch of these laying around the and we replaced it with this. So if we look on the back here, it's got the big antenna, which extended our range by double. So, I mean, these antennas are only about three bucks. And if you're running one of these, go ahead and just invest in three bucks. You'll get a much better connection. And what you will notice is his whole arcade setup is running from an external hard drive. And that's because we are getting near 
the limit of this power supply and we don't want to extend past what this is pushing out so the external was you know the best solution but he has a complete themed Star Wars arcade and so I went ahead and themed his whole setup for you know Star Wars and I created him a nice little Star Wars intro video. Let's just take a look. with the hardware is probably loading complete well, let's just take a look here let me turn this down I'm gonna go ahead and exit there we go so we got let's say 30 bucks for the case we reused this power supply $99 for the 7th gen i3 CPU $49 for the motherboard. I uh, found the memory on sale for right around $45 and $109 for the GTX 1050. So not a bad rig for what he's got invested. Now he's got almost five grand invested in this cabinet. He had more than I originally thought, but at least now he can actually enjoy it. So there it is guys. You know, if you're looking to do something cheap that'll play everything, take a look at these parts here, you won't be disappointed. I've actually built quite a few with these this year. And never use this case, probably will never use it again, but you know, with a little bit of creative wiring, you'll be able to, see I can't stand this. As you guys have been following me for a while, you know I cannot stand to see cables, but all in all, not a bad rig at all. See you later guys.